When the European first came here, Columbus, we could drink out of any river. If the Europeans had lived the Indian way when they came, we'd still be drinking out of water because the water is sacred. The air is sacred. Our DNA is made of the same DNA as the tree. The tree breathes what we exhale. When the tree exhales, we need what the tree exhales. So we have a common destiny with the tree. We are all from the earth. And when the earth, the water, the atmosphere is corrupted, then it will create its own reaction. Mother is reacting. And the world has become, quote, a market. And it's this market that we have to deal with. And it's this idea of boundless and endless resources. And when you say resources, you're talking about our relatives, you're talking about our family. Fish are our family. It's not a resource, it's a family. It requires all the respect. The structure of the world itself is such, it functions on natural law, and the natural law is a powerful regenerative process. There's a process of regeneration that continues and grows and is endless. It's absolutely endless if everyone agrees to the law and follows the law. But if you challenge the law, and you think you're going to change the law and you're bound to failure and then that failure will be a lot of pain because the natural law has no mercy it is only the law the earth is all powerful it wasn't made here for human beings he said we're part of it But we don't have to be here because the earth has its own process. And if it becomes to the point where you destroy yourself as human beings and you destroy life and finally leave this earth, the earth's not going to disappear. There's not going to be an end of the world. That's really a very interesting concept to us. No, the world won't end people's life on it will so it's not the end of the world you're talking about it's the end of us no tree grows by itself a tree is a community certain trees certain plants will gather around certain trees and certain medicines will gather around those certain plants so that if you kill all the trees if you cut all the trees and you're destroying the community. You're not destroying, not just de destroying a tree. You're destroying a whole community that surrounds it and thrives on it. And that may be very important medicine for people or for animals. So you've lost the community. Everybody should be their own leader. In other words, do your thinking for yourself. And we look about, and we look about for allies. We look about for friends. We look about for people who will understand and agree with those mandates of peace. That we are now placing in your hands all life. 
And it is your responsibility and it is your duty to look after all life. And so when he was speaking like that, he wasn't talking about our aunts and our uncles and our cousins and our fathers and our mothers. He was talking about all life. He was talking about the trees. He was talking about the fish, animals, everything that grows, everything with life. Because it is a family. 